I stacked up a bunch of concrete blocks just like the uh I like to give these guys a little Oh get these guys are from Australia. Oh, he grabbed there he comes. There he is, there he is. Holy smokes. Get up here. Oh, wow. so you're telling me I gotta hold it right here? Yep. Oh. I cannot believe. What is going on, friends? Welcome back to another video. We did a water change on every single tank and pond in this entire, look, I finally got the lights plugged back in and I also fixed the filter somewhat. It's crazy, it just gets clogged and then it unclogs and it gets clogged again and unclogs. I, I gotta figure this out, it it's a pain in my ass, but I'm gonna figure it out. I stacked up a bunch of concrete blocks just like the uh, that is on for this. I'm gonna put this over here, it'll look nicer. All the filtrations in the back, you know? So that'll go there soon. That's something else I did yesterday. What's going on, fish? They're all sitting right in the flow. The floors are as clean as they've ever been. This tank got a water change. Water change in this one and that one and that one. All in all, we had a long day in here yesterday cleaning and the place is just looking fantastic. On another note though, we're going to my great friend's house today and you know my great friend, his name is Camp Cannon. We made a couple videos with him in the past and today we're doing something that I honestly never thought I would do in my entire life, but we're doing it today. So stay tuned, first, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna lose my mind with these pine needles. I'm cutting you down, I'm cutting you down. All right. What, you hungry or something? You guys already ate breakfast, dude, that's the crazy part. This is your little afternoon snack. You get your own little scoop, Lulu. What's going on? We got Boots, little Baby, and King. The three that come up to me every single time. All right. Hey guys, um, just a quick second. Hey, uh, hey. Um, quick question. All right, never mind. Random thought in my head, I feel like I should build a pond. Nothing crazy, just dig a hole in the ground right here and it'll fill up with rainwater because the emus love to bathe. They'll actually literally get in the water and lay and like kick. I don't know, just, just a thought. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. All the animals are happy here at the PC farm. Without further ado, it's now time to go to Camp Cannon's house and have some fun with some reptiles. Let's do it. And uh, I actually this. incubated them out here, so these are black throat monitors. Mm. I like to give these guys a little, oh, oh just took it. Them, there goes the chick. So these guys get two a piece. Look at this enclosure, man. It's absolutely beautiful. It's awesome that it's, I like that it's growing in like this. They're gonna be about seven foot long when they're full grown. Seven foot yeah. long. I mean, the, the decoration that you have here is just so natural. Yeah, I just you let know? nature do its thing, man. I mean, these ferns just popped out. We got plants, I don't even know what they are. And then I it's use growing. natural rock. They're, they're happy. We're gonna go meet a lunatic lizard right now. Let's do it. Let's Let me get go. a bucket full of chicks. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. Chicken tendies. Tastes good. <laughs> I like to make this guy work for his food also. What is this, Kenan? This is, oh, oh, my, oh my god. This guy is a nut, right? Oh Holy cow. A nut? Come on. I think it's an understatement, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> These guys are from Australia. Oh, he, grabbed he grabbed it right out of the tongs, man. They're from Australia. They're Argus monitors. They're really, really cool lizard. They get about six foot and they are pretty intelligent, man. They're also very high energy and they can do something called tripoding. They'll actually stand up on their hind legs and balance on their tail and they survey. And I'll come in here sometimes and he's just like this, like a prairie dog, yeah. just looking around. It's the, it's one of the coolest lizards I have. So I love this guy. Um, his name's Artie the Argus Monitor. I don't it's get again, angry. Crazy here. enclosure too. So, yeah, just a simple thing. Again, nice and they're, simple and they're gonna get a bigger enclosure, obviously, because they're gonna keep growing. So just good stuff. There is Inky. Inky was stolen, man. This was the lizard that got stolen and uh, the awesome people at Palm Beach Sheriff's Department got her back for me in about 30 hours. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Black Dragon, this is an Asian water monitor, but she's melanistic. Hi, mamas. Oh my Look God. at that, oh, yeah. yes. She is just an amazing critter. I man. need to move mine outside. Oh my goodness. She's distracted so I won't get whipped. Oh, beautiful. Exactly. The enclosures here are nuts. I know I showed you guys this before, but just look at this. Cayman Creek, Camp Kennan. Got everything, it's just so professional. So beautiful, dude. All right, the Cayman's sleeping. So He's I'm not sleeping. even bothered. Cayman's sleeping. Yep. They, so, they're more active at night, so. No Cayman today. No Cayman today, kids. Are they considered nocturnal? Yes, they are. Okay. Most crocodilians prefer to eat at night. This right here is the last enclosure we're gonna feed until we get to the alligator, which is the finale. And that's just crazy. Well, actually, I don't mean to, to steer you wrong here or, or correct you. 
This is the second to last enclosure before we get to the alligators. Sorry. We gotta feed Slinky. Oh, we gotta feed Slinky. Yeah, okay, second to last. Slinky. So we're in here with Chase and Diamond. They're my croc monitors. They are the longest lizards in the world. They're arboreal. But they're not the largest lizard like the Komodo dragon. They're just basically, come on. They are the longest. So they're very like agile. Yeah. And you can see they're very slender, not heavily bodied. So they're not a terrestrial animal. That thing's going down in two seconds. Now we gotta get the female's attention. Would these be considered somewhat mildly venomous as well? All, the bacteria? all monitors are gonna have uh, venom. In fact, many snakes that you wouldn't consider venomous and lizards that you wouldn't consider venomous, they found that they have a mild venom. Um, and that's because snakes and lizards are closely related. Uh, they're in the same order. We're getting nerdy. And uh, <laughs> basically, um, even a garter snake um, that I, I picked up garter snakes. And if you ever get bit by a garter snake, you'll itch. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to really hurt you or to call them truly venomous, but they do have a mild uh, irritant in there. So it's the beginnings of venom. Um, so it's pretty interesting stuff, man. And these guys are great. Just I keeps, love this guy. But here's, here's what you got to know about these guys. <clears throat> Longest, lar uh, the largest teeth of any lizard, including Komodo dragon. Um, their teeth are so long and sharp <clears throat> that this guy bleeds from the gums from his teeth. And now the final enclosure, and it's the coolest enclosure in my opinion. This thing is awesome, man. It's so you got a full ecosystem inside of it. Yep. And, you can put uh, birds and stuff in here. Yeah, this is Slinky's cage, man. This is the joint. So let's see if Slinky's out. Slinky! Here he comes. There he is, there he is! Holy smokes! Get up here! Oh, wow! <laughs> That's Slinky, everybody. I love this lizard, man. He is the king lizard here at the camp. Some may say he's even the king of the camp. And uh, I had to build him this enclosure with my buddy Jerry Wolf. And uh, yeah. he's just chowing down, man. So cool. So, Paul. Kenan. These dudes are going to get amped. Whenever they see me walk over with people and in a, a bucket. In a way we've not seen yeah. normally. It, it, it's been hot. The gators are active. So we got to be quick when we get everything dialed in. Yeah. I'm kind of scared already. I'm not. <laughs> We're going to try for the uh, Camp Cannon Jumperoo Show. <laughs> Camp Cannon Jumperoo Show? Yeah. Imagine being Cannon's neighbor. Hey. <laughs> 17 foot crocodile next to my house. Don't worry about me. Look at that. Right Yummy. Big gold chicken. Can we get a jumper show from you? So you're telling me I gotta hold it right here? Yep. All right, dude. So they're all, <laughs> if you look, Snaggletooth is already at the... Um, oh, nice. There's a big gator right there. Watch this. Oh my gosh, Let's see dude. if this works, guys. That is crazy. I gotta get its attention. Oh look at this. Oh my look at this. Jumper show. Oh, it's oh. the jumper show, everyone. Oh, let's get it out into deeper water. Look at this. This is what I wanted. Oh, Dude, that is oh epic. God. Let's see if he can get it. Oh, oh my yes. God. It worked. Matt, success. That's so sick. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. It's okay. Dude, <laughs> let's get another piece so of chicken. Sick. Wasn't that awesome? Oh. Come on, girl. Oh, she got wow. it! Crazy, she got it! This dude. is the raddest it thing ever, dude. So <laughs> this is working so rad. It really is, bro. It really is. Kenan, this is literally the title and thumbnail. Or there's nothing cooler than this. I'm stoked you're getting alligators with a zip line. You're literally. I mean, dude. We do we do this stuff on my channel all the time. Dude. Yeah, you guys gotta go check out Kenan's channel for sure. He's got this in his backyard. Dude, look, at, look at that, dude. That is crazy. Here she is now. I'm gonna, I want it to work. I want yeah. them to work. How crazy would it be to put a GoPro on top of the chicken? Oh man. And that get them coming nuts. up. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got one chicken left. Holy Let, let's get God. it. <laughs> You this guys be careful. Crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the last chicken. Oh my god. I don't know how long this is gonna last. Bro, do you the GoPro shots are nuts? Insane. <laughs> so so there's really a method to this. The reason I'm doing this is so these animals get enrichment, they move around. Most of the time, you know, we're flinging food to them. You keep an eye on that for me? Yep. Alright, so most of the time we're just kind of throwing food at them, but I want these animals to move. They're gonna eat each other. 
Oh no! He's a hungry oh, dude God. today. That's it, <laughs> Pretty fun over dude. here, right? That is insane. Come I a long way from the pond to a camp. A bamboo stick with a GoPro stuck into it. Yeah. Hey, we get it done around That's here. That's that redneck engineering. There you go. Dude, my heart's racing. Let's get, let's get <laughs> mad out. That was absolutely epic, dude. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, oh I'm going to join you guys dude. the That was oh, awesome. No. <laughs> well, we're back at the PC farm, and I cannot believe we just did that. Feeding those gators from a literal zip line. It was the craziest thing ever. A very cool experience, one I won't forget, that's for sure. And I think I know what I'm going to do with this pond now. <laughs> hey? Huh? Huh? Hey? Gators? No? Maybe? No. Yeah, no, you're right. That's crazy. I can't. I don't have the permits for that, but that would be cool. Imagine. I honestly do have the room for it. This is a big enclosure. I just got to... Screen it all in and all right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you're new. We have a special guest flying in tonight. If you have any guesses, comment down below your guess. Got some crazy videos coming soon. I'm gonna give a sneak peek to those who have watched all the way to the end of this video, what you might see in the next video. That's it, that's all I'm gonna show you. You might have seen it, you might have not. If you missed it, rewind. I love you so much. See you right back here in the next one. Peace.